Hi guys, it's Lizzie from the Academy team and this is the Sigma 70-200mm f2.8 DGDNOS lens. This lens has been beautifully constructed to suit both sports and wildlife photography, so what better way to spend a dreary, grey, drizzly day than looking out for some wildlife? Today I'm going to be shooting with the L-mount version of the lens. It is also available in Sony E-mounts, but before I get underway on my pursuit for the elusive wildlife of the woods, <laughs> let me run through the technical spec. Construction wise, we have 20 elements in 15 groups, six of which are Sigma's ultra low dispersion glass and two special low dispersion, both of which are designed to produce ultra sharp images across the frame and throughout the entire zoom range. And with Sigma's super multi-layer coating, this lens will also effectively minimize flare and ghosting. The 11 blade circular aperture produces some incredibly smooth bokeh and the large f2.8 aperture delivers sharp and bright images at all zoom and focus ranges. This 70-200 f2.8 lens has not only been built for high optical performance but also for high speed autofocus to allow you to keep up with even the fastest moving subjects. Now this is all thanks to the built-in high response linear actuator which delivers that fast, quiet and accurate AF, making this lens not only perfect for stills but also video. The optical stabilizer features Sigma's unique OS2 algorithm, providing an extremely high image stabilization effect of up to 7.5 stops. And we've got the option of two OS modes, mode one, which is best for general shooting, and mode two, which is the one to choose for all of your panning shots. We've got all the controls you'd expect to see, your focus and focus limiter switch, OS switch, aperture lock switch, zoom ring, focus ring, function buttons, and a new addition to Sigma sports lenses, the aperture control ring. Great to be able to adjust your aperture at a twist and you can turn off the click for smooth control during video and also lock it into place so you don't accidentally knock it. There's also a newly developed tripod socket too, Arca Swiss compatible mag alloy with a standard quarter inch screw. It's removable so if you don't want it on there all the time, you don't have to. I've really enjoyed shooting with this lens today and considering the less than perfect lighting conditions that we've had, it's actually been really easy to shoot handheld, which I'm a big fan of. The lens itself feels really well made and durable and it's also fully weather resistant too. So if you are out shooting in extreme weather conditions or environments, dust and moisture isn't really something that you're gonna need to worry about. Now the lens itself weighs in at 1345 grams for the L mount version, which does make it lighter weight and smaller than Sigma's existing 70-200 f2.8 DGDN HSM lens for DSLRs. If you'd like to find out any more information on the Sigma 70-200mm f2.8 DGDNOS lens, then head on over to jessops.com now or pop into your nearest store where one of our experts will be more than happy to help. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like. Don't forget to hit subscribe and smash that bell icon so you can stay up to date on all of our latest content. That's it from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.